yeah, we've got a good few questions for you. Okay. Um, for our project, first one we want to test, and how did you get interested in photography? Um, well, I became interested in photography, not, not um, I guess, as some sort of moment of uh, epiphany, but rather it's something that I think, you know, more and more we grow up with and are surrounded with in our daily lives, in newspapers, in magazines, and um, it's, it's the way that we record our lives and the, the, the kind of, you know, contemporary kind of history that goes on around us. So it's not really so much a question of kind of having a moment when you became interested in photography. I think you're either interested, you enjoy and respond to looking at images in daily life, or you don't. I guess for me, then it then progressed to being interested in opening a gallery, first and foremost, and not really feeling there was very much of work that interested me in a, a, at an affordable sort of level in more traditional art forms as there was in photography. I thought photography was a very exciting prospect which had been underappreciated and undervalued in this country, particularly in comparison with, with how seriously kind of photography is taken and considered in America, and in Japan and in a lot of Europe. Um, Brighton is also a town with a relatively young demographic, its audience, and, um, and I thought they would be more likely to respond to contemporary photography than they would to a lot of more traditional art forms, and wouldn't maybe have some of the hang-ups about buying photography that maybe older generations do, where they just think, well, it is something that you see in newspapers and magazines, and you can mass-produce it, why would I ever buy it to put it up on my wall? Um, how, how do you run the gallery on a day-to-day basis? Um, well, it, it, exactly that. I, I run it on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're open seven days a week. <coughs> Closed on only a few exceptional days, like kind of Christmas Day and New Year's Day. You know, we're a, a gallery, but we're in a gallery in a town which is predominantly a, 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 a town which relies on tourism. And so you have to make sure that you are open and available and accessible to all audiences, both the, the resident population here and also visitors. So a lot of that is on weekends, it's on bank holidays, the sorts of times when everybody else is putting their feet up and enjoying life. So we're, we're, we're effectively kind of, you know, open all the time and you you are constantly, you know, required to do things, whether it's dealing with people who come in, whether it's preparing the next show or the show after that, or, you know, dealing with inquiries that come up, dealing with photographers, looking at submissions, um, trying to look for sponsors for exhibitions, trying to get press for exhibitions. Um, it's, you know, it, because you are always having a program, a changing program of exhibitions, there's always something to be done for the next one and the one after that. It's not like it's a permanent fixture, what's on the walls. How, how do you find your, your sources of photography? Say that again? How do you find your sources of photography? Thanks, Karen. Um, well, any number of ways, really. You know, I approach photographers whose work that I've seen and like. Um, I'll approach galleries who show the work of, of photographers that I'd like to show to, both galleries that are, are in the UK and abroad. Um, we also get a lot of submissions from, from photographers. And, um, you know, so it's a question of looking around to trying to find work that hasn't been seen before, either in this country or new work by a particular photographer that hasn't been seen. Um, and look for, for, you know, unearthed gems of, of, of the work that, that people bring to you. <laughs> Are you planning to expand? Expand? Yeah, or the well, business not, side of it. Well, not, you... not just yet. Um, you know, it's it's hard work and it's a hard business to, to make a, a substantial living from. So, you know, you have to consolidate 
the, the business that you have first before you can look to expand it. Um, you know, the most important thing that we're doing now is trying to develop a repeat clientele. So not people who just come in once and then you never see them again. You want people to come back and buy from you, buy different work, maybe start buying the same artist's work because they really like it and want to collect it. That's how you sort of create a, a successful base for a business. Um, so at this point, for me, it's not a, a, an achievable go a goal to try and expand. It's about trying to make this business and this premises work and get well known in this area first hopefully kind of get a, a decent reputation for the exhibitions that we put on both to attract other photographers but also to attract people to come and buy you know at some point in the future who knows and yeah we also are the pictures first on the website how do you use the website do you think it's a good tool to come on there well it's more uh, as a secondary reference point at the moment um, it is used by people who come in to see an exhibition, who are perhaps interested in work, um, but aren't making any buying, purchasing decisions when they're in the gallery and maybe want to think about it. It's therefore the easiest way that people can reference the work again. So they go to the website, they can see the exhibition, they can see all the images, it details the prices and additions and availability and everything else. So. There's not a, you know, there's not an active marketing of the website as such. It's more um, reactive, I guess, in the sense that it's it's only after people have come into the gallery, therefore know that there is a website that they go on and have a look. Um, yeah, um, the, the website is called the Scenes in the Gallery and in here and. Um, about the collection right now, can you tell us a little bit about it? About this collection? Yeah. Sure. This um, group of work is by an American photographer called Slim Ahrens, and he um, basically spent about kind of 40 years of his life documenting the lifestyles of the rich and famous um, of American society, particularly um, during primarily the kind of 50s and 60s and then did continue into the kind of 70s and 80s. Um, I came across his work through a, a book that was published um, on his work kind of last year um, and there has been some renewed interest in him since he died as quite often seems to happen. Um, and his work, his sort of archive is owned by uh, one of the largest sort of photographic picture libraries, Getty. And um, we have a sort of existing relationship with them, so it was an opportunity to kind of work with them. Um, they provide us with all the pictures. They're not limited edition pieces. You can buy limited edition ones, um, but they are pretty expensive. Because of the time of year that we're in, it's February, you know, it's a month after Christmas. People still paying off kind of credit card bills, etc., from that. Christmas period, so you look to put on an exhibition which is not going to be uh, incredibly sort of expensive work, which might prohibit a lot of people wanting to spend money in February. So because they're not edition pieces, they are, relatively speaking, pretty affordable. Um, yeah. What do you look forward to in the future? What do I look forward to? Um, a holiday. That's what I look forward to mostly. Um, I, I look forward to, uh, I guess that, that, as I said previously, that the gallery can continue to put on an interesting range of exhibitions, that we can continue to attract good photographers to show here, that we can continue to attract a good audience here, and that we can continue to develop a relationship with, with people who, who are interested in buying and collecting the photography, who want to kind of come back um, time and again and hopefully take an interest in particular ph photographers and, and uh, to some extent get, get bitten by the bug and, and become collectors to, to ha however kind of small or larger degree. But that, you know, we can cement and consolidate a reputation here and then see what happens from there.